Hello world, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name's Paul. And, uh, um, we're in Darwallanew, which is about two and a half hours north of Perth. Um, this is the centre of the wildflower district, very famous for its wildflowers. But this year, as you guys have seen, if you've been following our videos, it, there hasn't been much rain this year, so it's not a very good wildflower season, but we will be able to show you quite a bit of colour. But for now, let's roll the intro. Hello world, uh, now we're going into the Discovery Centre, sort of like the tourist information booth but a bit on steroids, been done up a bit, going to go and find out a bit about the area. Oh, okay, I guess so, yeah. Let me fix myself. Well, that was quite informative. We got lots of information what to do this afternoon. But for now, I'll give you a bit of a look around. This is the Anzac Park behind me. That's the, in memory of the soldiers that have died in all the wars for Australia. Most country towns have got an Anzac Park somewhere. But we'll go and have a look around. Behind me is the old police station, the old lock-up courthouse. Now it's an arts and crafts shop. We'll go in and have a look. Well, arts and crafts shop's shut, but there's plenty of other things to see. There's a sign there for the old courthouse. Yeah, this is the old train station behind me. This would have been one of the original um, buildings of Dalwallanyu. Now it's a Filipino restaurant, but it's still the old original building. It's still got the train tracks going past, but I don't know how long it is since it's been used as a train station. I probably should get this information for you guys, but that's life. And so this is the entry to the Anzac Park. It's starting to rain, so I'm going to have to run back and get this camera out of the rain. But it's forecast for sunny skies in the next hour or so. So it won't be all gloom and doom. I'll show you a bit more stuff. We've got the cafe and the bakery across the road. Both great places to get something to eat. And as you can see with all the people, I don't know if you've seen, but caravans and people all over the place. This is a popular place to come this time of year. And behind me here is the Pioneer and Past Residence Wall. A bit of information about all the locals that first started the, the area. And now we're going to go and do the rabbit proof fence loop which is about 88 k's. There's a few things to see along the way, like an old school, rock pools, um, water tanks and things, but we'll show you along the way. Hey, so this is the original well in town. It was built by the Allison brothers in 1909, I think. And most of the settlers were pioneers when they first arrived here would camp by this well before they went and got settled. So a very historical part of town. Hey guys, this is the Zantippi tank, spelt with an X. It was built in 1923 and was the original water supply for Dalwallanyu. We're maybe 30 k's out of Dalwallanyu now. Everywhere you look guys, there's colour. There's blues and oranges, yellows, greens, purples, every colour you could imagine. But if I stopped and showed you every little patch of flowers, we'd be here forever. So you're just gonna have to come and see it for yourselves. So, we missed a turn off, ended up in a little town called Kalani. And you can kind of tell these days how successful a farming town is by the size of its bulk handling centre. This is where they bring in all their wheat and canola. But I'll just give you a quick thing, and sorry guys, the gimbal's not turned on. But you can see there, that's a massive bulk handling. It's almost as big as the whole town. I was going to buy Janet a glass of wine, but doesn't seem to be a pub in this town which seems a surprise but we're going to keep on going I think the Wuban is next hey. um, now we're following the rabbit proof fence and if if you remember in the Shh, we're hunting whales video I talked about the rabbit proof fence then and that's a 
a really dark part of Australia's history was the stolen generation where Aboriginal kids that had any white blood were forcibly taken from their families and put into these schools and the idea was to give them an education and a good white life but really the truth was they were just led a legal slave trade. These kids were given a small education then they were farmed off as farm hands and maids and it, it really was just a legal slave trade. But the movie The Rabbit Proof Fence which I advise all of you see it's a sad sad movie. Um, it's about three sisters and their cousin that escaped from New Norcia, which was one of the worst schools, allegedly. And they followed the rabbit proof fence all the way back to Waluna, which is in the centre of Western Australia. Um, yeah, watch the movie, guys. And right now we're following the rabbit proof fence that those girls actually walked along. Okay, so when the number two rabbit proof fence, which is the one we're on now, was first completed in 1902, they put in a few of these dug holes in the granite for water for the boundary riders. And the boundary riders were the guys that were paid to look after sections of the fence. So right now, I'm just trekking over the granite to, um, you can see me bouncing around, to go, ah, oh, I didn't have to walk far at all. It's right here. And, um, Okay, so we were driving along and this stood out like you wouldn't believe from the side of the road doing 100 kilometres an hour and we couldn't miss it. And it looks quite nice here, but if you look as I go step away, it's just this ring of flowers in the middle of nowhere. When we pulled up, I thought it was a man-made wreath or something, but it's not. It's just this flowers on the side of the road. Amazing. Now this is the Kale Bro School. It was built by the Kale Brothers, so I guess that's where the name comes from, obviously. It was used to, all the families in here use it as their school from 1939 to 1956. And it's all made of mud brick. It's really quite a, I'd like to go in there and show you, but there's a sign here saying enter your, your own risk. So I think it's quite, uh, they're trying to keep it in one piece. So we won't go any closer, but this is the Kale Bro Mud Brick School. We just stopped in Woburn for some um, fuel, a bottle of soda water. This is kind of the border. This is where the wheat belt meets the gold fields. North of us is all gold and iron ore. South of us is all wheat. And there's a bit of a mix in between for the next 100 kilometers. But yeah, this is the beginning of the mining area. Well, that was another fun weekend. Um, I didn't get the drone up again. It was it poured with rain the whole way home, but that's all right. The farmers need it. Now I'll leave a link to the Discovery Centre in the description. If you haven't subscribed yet, guys, subscribe down below. Give me a big thumbs up. Share this video wherever you can, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>